action? Is this scary? a film that's very scary but at the same time fun you know where you can laugh and get scared at the same time it's fun to be scared so we wanted this to be that type of approach the fun of being afraid you know it should be a roller coaster ride with peaks and valleys and all kind of emotions maybe we should come back later yeah like when it's light out you know there's some pathos in this and i insisted on it well here's a guy which is myself that i'm playing who he doesn't really like to hurt anyone or offend anyone but they find him to be strange and eccentric and weird the older people do the grown-ups because they're kind of bigoted but know? when they start to challenge me they make me territorial really and i start to challenge them back and I do all of these wonderful things that is like magic because I'm really trying to scare this mayor who is a creep. He's really a creep. Well, it's just like a big movie. Shafts of light. I'm so excited. I can't stand it. <laughs> Michael and I have been talking for the longest time about doing something very unique and having the audience see something they've never seen before. So this is why we needed to hear it. This is what this is all about. You start thinking. Oh, Stanley. Don't start with me, Michael. I am your elder, okay? Show a little respect. You see these gray hairs here? <laughs> I've known Stan Winston since I was 16 years old. He did all of the effects for a film I did called The Wiz, where I played the scarecrow. In case you didn't know, <laughs> I'm the director. We're in trouble. <laughs> all right, here we go. And action! I said to Stan, I don't want to do just another scary short film. I wanted to present something that's never been seen before. If it's an effect, then it should be something brand new. It should have a meaning. I came up with this idea of taking Michael further than we've ever seen him. And I said, I want you to play all the parts. You're going to have to dance like you've never danced before. You're going to be virtually in every shot. You're going to be getting up early in the morning for heavy makeup calls. You're going to be dancing in, in heavy costumes. And it was like that quick. Just... There's a top layer here of Michael laying down. And then there's a uh, middle element of some really cool looking ash in the shape of Michael. And we're actually animating movement. We have the dancers going up the pillars. We have them up on the walls of the house. We have them on the ceiling of the house. You see them actually walking down, walking on the ground, and then up this pillar. You know, it's the impossible shot. When you're climbing up, you have to lean back. And action. the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. But it was cool, I'm glad I did it. Shooting green screen is sort of like the weatherman will be in front of a green screen and then a map will be placed behind him. This was shot on the green screen, upside down, with everyone dancing. Just terrific work. A piece of magic. Michael plays the skeleton because we have the ability to performance capture an artist and take that performance of that artist and give that to a digital character. By putting the markers on his body and putting him in this performance area, we can capture the essence of that character by having him dance, move, emote, gesture. So he, he gets to author the performance, not unlike an actor would. 
this skull was created from a life cast of Michael, carved down to the, the skull that was in the shape of his head. So this literally, for all intents and purposes, is the skull of Michael Jackson. <laughs> The art of dance is mainly interpreting the bodily movement, the sounds in the accompaniment of a composition. One moves according to the sound. Take a song like Billie Jean, the bass goes do 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 do. So the body moves according to the sound and character of the instrument. Kind of do 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 do. Yeah. This phrase was always, let's not leave any stone unturned. Let's look for choreography in the most bizarre places. It's always truly a collaboration. We sometimes communicate through videotape. He'll just put ideas down for us, we do the same for him, and it, and it works out good that way. We go through many, many, many levels of choreography and many looks and many types of approaches, but until it's the right thing, he doesn't stop and we don't stop either. We had 12 hour days, you know, 12 hour days, five days a week, um, sometimes six days a week, and sometimes seven days a week, I think, too. But um, it all paid off. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's a tapestry. Yeah. Get here. Michael wanted me there to take notes and to to get his ideas as they came. You bring the horns on top. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, a lot of rhythm. Yeah. It's just chaotic. Yeah. 20 people here. No music here. Bum, 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 bum. Michael oversees everything, everything we do. It's pretty much just knowing what you want to do and having a will of iron. I'm not going to lie and make, it, make you think that it's really, really easy, because it's not. He's not easily satisfied. He's very demanding in that he doesn't allow us to settle. Michael, is it this or this? I'm not kidding. Wait. 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 If we choreograph something and we think it's really strong and we think it's really cool, we'll question it. We'll say, is this absolutely the best you think it can be? Yeah! Anyone I've ever worked with is just striving for the unexpected and to do something that no one else has done before and does not know what the word no means. Right now, there's no way of cutting all the stuff we have. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Feeling Mark II? I'm sure I'm going to see things I said I should have done that shot. I knew I was right. I shouldn't have let them go. I let it go and I shouldn't have. Okay. Michael oversees everything, everything we do. He has added things, this webbing that covers the ghouls so they look even older and decayed. These look good, they're straight. They just need to be dirtier and more textured. Michael's very specific about what he wants. We try to come up with monsters who are not just monsters but have a lot of personality and have their own individual characteristics or looks. We decided that all the different ghouls have all died at different times. We have everything from the very snooty, upper-crust, 
uh, stiff upper lip British guy with uh, you know with his monocle and uh, several looks uh, with wild hairdos you know all kinds of outrageous period styles that have been exaggerated we are covering this ballroom with these phenomenal ghosts who are dancing a dance we have never seen You know, today's cutting edge is tomorrow's classic. It's pretty much just knowing what you want to do and having a will of iron. If the whole world says no, you say yes. You ain't done enough for me. You ain't done enough for me. You are disgusting me. Yeah. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope it's inspiring to a lot of people. And I hope it scares you. I hope it makes you laugh, and I hope it makes you cry. That's all I wanted to achieve. Just some real fun entertainment. that happens, and you go like that, and they all go like that, now we'll have a shot where they're all standing on the ceiling like that, and they literally drop off the ceiling, and their feet cut down, and then we cut away to a reaction, and then you see them floating down behind us, and we actually will have a big wide shot of everybody from here on the ceiling, upside down, going, starting their, their descent. It was very cool, yeah. I can't, I can't remember who, uh, who's I, oh, it's not. When I say action, what you can do is just start walking up. Everybody on the ceiling. When that happens, and you go like that, and they all go like that, now we'll have a shot where they're all standing on the ceiling like that. This is the time we perform. Silent up, move up, all over the circle. Thank you. Hi, Joe. I miss you. I love you so much. I love you, Joe. I've always loved you. I'm so glad you're here. I I couldn't help it. I know I'm not supposed to come and work like this. I can't help myself. I'm so little I don't think it would affect me. For sure. Don't put this on film. <laughs> I have a career. <laughs> We're helping him. <laughs> Everybody's watching. <laughs> The making of it was kind of like one of the Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, don't say a word. You're in trouble. I, I have to move. Uh, this is It's going to be okay. 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 Actually, uh, no, it was, it, oh, we're going long Yeah, go a long ways and see if the the will have a better idea. Is that the same Okay, we'll, we'll fix that a little better when we actually get it. Yeah. So.
Sandwiched by tough work. Yes. Work, work, right. The book ends. Yeah. 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 Isn't that interesting? That, that, that shot, that wide shot of the Now, if this, if this is hard as far as just your normal dance, you can put the other stuff in. If this floor does not work for you, for you just your normal dance, we can also lay it down for the dance. This is fine for the regular dance. This is what standing dance. This is when, I, when I come over here, it's like usually Thursday. Yeah. Thursdays I come over. But we have to put the mirror ball in for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. First part stay in that circle. Yeah. Okay. So yes, now sir. these are going to be 30 second takes. Right? Yeah. Is and there a front? It doesn't make any difference. You can see these. You can manipulate it. You're being, you're being trapped 360 degrees. If it helps you to think about it, yeah. we could be the crowd like in this direction. Yeah. That That's the way I, I would play it as though this is the audience, this is the crowd, that you can feel totally free as far as your movement. Well, because literally the camera moves, you're going around, behind you. Right, but that's the camera for his frame of reference. The ghouls are behind him. I'll be the man. What do we do? It? We'll do it. Yeah, that, so, I mean, the first thing, we're just going to let him do his, his performance. That, and then we'll move into the next one. Okay. So, we're going to do the calibration. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you understand what's going on? Don't stand again. Every person is their own green screen on the revolving L set, then composited in one at a time. This was shot on the green screen. Imagine this upside down, which is how I shot it, and the camera is upside down. And now you take that shot, and look at all the elements, all the things are added, the lightning, the shadows. Cameras are emitting uh, near infrared lights, 
So essentially the cameras are seeing uh, dots in space moving around and the computer can correlate. We can then take the skeleton that will then become Michael and use these dots to move it in, uh, in the computer. And then render that and light it and then composite it into the scene at the end. I play the skeleton. I play um, the super ghoul. I'm scared yet. Does the super ghoul make a, the most hideous, grotesque creature I think of them all in the film? He forms into this like eight foot character and devours the man. And body language is going in you. Going in you. In my head. What? <laughs> There's just one point when the mayor tries to run out and leave and he opens the door and the entire frame of the door is the face of this character. Hello! What was fun about doing that is um, becoming someone else. It's fun. I put on this fat suit. You just, you just know what to do right away. When I move, I'm fighting against what's inside of me. For instance, I say to the townspeople, I'm okay, I'm the mayor. Everything's fine. I go, I'm fine. Then something starts to happen inside of me, and I'm like fighting the whole time. And then the rhythm gets, you know. And I'm not Michael Jackson. Don't think I'm Michael Jackson because I'm not. I just kind of affected these steps. He had a talk with me. He taught me a couple of things. So. I'm learning. I know a lot of about this. And I know all the things to do. Because now it's hard me. I don't understand it. Hey. I don't understand it. Hey. I play that fat, grotesque, ridiculous mayor who, who, and I say it in that way because those kind of people, you know, who are just so stubborn, they just don't see the beauty of the inside of a person. <laughs> Who's weird now? Who's the freak now? Freaky boy. There's a... <laughs>